Hey, so in this video, I'd like to do an example where we prove that a linear transformation is linear. So we are given this linear transformation L, which takes something from R3 and transforms this vector space into R2. So it tells us here a little definition for this linear transformation, where you plug in the vector x1, x2, and x3, and it will basically output um, this resultant vector in R2 where the first coordinate is x1 minus 2x2. The second coordinate would be x3 plus x1 of the original vector that was plugged in. So if we were to pr prove that it's linear, the goal here is to show that if we were to take L of a scalar times a vector x plus another scalar times a vector y, we're basically just showing everything in one step, showing that this would be equal to the scalar times the linear transformation of just the initial vector plus the scalar s times a linear transformation of the second vector of the of the sum. And so this is what we're trying to show. And it's honestly not too bad to show this. So let's let uh, let's be very clear. Let x be equal to x one, x two, x three. And let's let y be equal to y1, y2, y3. These are all vectors in R3, right? And we are trying to plug in the vector that is tx1 plus sy1, tx2 plus sy2, and tx3 plus sy3, right? So from the definition of this linear transformation, we know that the first coordinate here will be x1 minus 2x2, or in this case, tx1 plus sy1 minus 2 times x2 and x2 is tx2 plus sy2. Second coordinate will be x3, which is, uh, in this case, tx3 plus sy3, plus the first coordinate, which is tx1 plus sy1. Okay, now let's just do a little bit of rearranging. We have tx1 minus 2tx2 plus sy1 minus 2sy2. Second coordinate, we've got tx3 plus tx1 plus this is a t or not t, uh, sy3 plus sy1, okay, and this, let's actually just write this now as the addition of, we've got tx1 minus 2tx2, then we've got 2t, oh, and I just realized I wrote x twice there, uh, tx3 plus tx1. Let's like write this as the addition of two different vectors, right? I mean, same thing. First coordinate of the second one, we've got sy1 minus 2 sy2. Second coordinate, we've got sy3 plus sy1. Right? We're just breaking things up, making it a little neater. Okay, lastly, we've got t. We can factor out the t. It's in every single term here. And this is now x1 minus 2x2, and then x3 plus x1. And then similarly for the second vector, we've got s times this other vector here, 2y2, and then we've got y3 plus y1. And if this is not already abundantly clear, well, that first vector is by definition what happens when we take the linear transformation of that vector x that we defined, right? 
And then same thing with the vector on the right hand side. Well, that vector is just the linear transformation of y from our definition. So it's really t times the linear transformation of x plus s times the linear transformation of y. Right? And that is really all there is to it. Right? So just to summarize here, we are given this linear transformation. It's already defined for us exactly what this linear transformation does. We want to prove that it's linear. So we plug in uh, a scalar, multi scalar multiplied by a vector plus a different scalar multiplied by a different vector. If we take the linear transformation of that, it should be equal to the same thing as scaling the linear transformed version of the first vector plus a, the other scalar times the linear transformation of the second vector. So we just came up with two vectors, basically applied the linear transformation to that sum of the vectors, and then we just, using algebra, broke it up as much as we could and sh factored out the scalars, and then we found that you know, we are just left with the scalar times the linear transformed version of the first vector plus the linear transformation of the other vector. And that's all there is to it.